guys welcome back to bear and breakfast um last time we finally <laughs> were generating enough money to make it through some of the objectives for timber crossing and a24 and we just unlocked a new place we unlocked high lake um and we met Ju julia juliet julie julie something and she's a goat and she likes cooking so i'm excited to start this new area let's Let's go. Okay. Um so what we need to do. Find a way to repair the farmhouse. <gasps> Corn. Okay. 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 Find a way to repair that would it just be the same way as last time? Oh, I'm assuming so. It looks like it's guiding me. Ew, trash. Well, this looks the same. <laughs> Give me more stuff. Finn! Enjoy today. You can't pay your debt from the grave. Dang, true. But your children can. Oof. Oof. Hello, voice box person. I'm ready to get my hands dirty again. Be part of the next exciting experience. Enticing ex escape. Electrifying. Hey. We've been through this already. Aren't you the same shark? Individualism does not make the cogs turn faster. I think there's a bag missing. It's wind somewhere. Welcome to High Lake. The Amber Jewel, the pride of the valley, the Great Depression, the Great Depression. And we're talking sunken landforms, not your reasons for staying in bed. <laughs> Got him. Someone's in a mood. The Golden Plateau, in geological terms, of course. Not your late teens. All right, now. The Captain's Estate is a perfect destination for premium development. The quaint, family-centric farmhouse is ideal for hosting dozens of loud, unfamiliar strangers. As always, a regrettable minimum standard is required to open this location. Imagine, um... <laughs> Like, you have an old farmhouse, and someone just takes it and turns it into a barren breakfast. Like, imagine being able to do this just because you find houses and fix them up. That's kind of crazy. I guess people do that. I guess people do that. Tony's Construction Service. Welcome to Highland. Wait, this is Tony's? Dude, should I have been giving it a yeehaw accent this whole time? I'm not going to do that because it's a sign. <laughs> Welcome to the High Lake Farmhouse. Would you like to repair it? Yeah. Step one, clear out any debris and garbage from the structure. I already did that. <laughs> Tony's construction service. Is the structure clear of any debris or garbage? Yeah. Step two, gather construction materials needed to repair the structure. In this case, pine wood planks, stone bricks, glass panels, and iron nails. Ooh, I have it all. <gasps> nice. Tony's construction service. Have all the materials been acquired? Yep. Step three, get your butt to work. This is going to be cute. A farmhouse? I probably should have made a day. But this way we get to set it up during the night when nothing's happening. Because during the day, I need to get the bus stops working. Because now, ooh, I see a chest. I see a chest. What is this? Tea? Chamomile tea? Spicy linden tea? I'll take that shimamale. Yoink. Nice. I don't know what that's for, but... Shimamale. Okay. Let's talk to Bestie. Stop. Hey, girl. Wow, that house never looked so clean. Is that the fresh coat of paint? Yeah. Yes, it is. That's amazing. I've never seen it sparkle like that. What is this place, anyways? I'm still not sure what... I'm still not sure you're not here for my potatoes. But if you really mean it... This is the captain's estate, and that old pile of rusted mold is the farmhouse. Okay, rude. <laughs> well, significantly less rusty and moldy now. It used to be the biggest private property in the valley. The lady captain and the little captain's kids would spend every summer here, although he was never with them. I thought her whole thing, the whole thing was like he had a lot of partners with kids. So did he actually have a wife? Yeah. Okay. He spent most of his time up the hill, 
in the big radio dish building. What made you can't come up such a long way from home? I met a shark that asked me for help to get humans come to get the humans to come back. If you're here to rob me, you don't have to put on the show. I don't want to rob you. Your house is cute. You keep it to yourself, girl. No, I mean it. There's people all over the place now. In fact, I think I could help rebuild the farmhouse and get people to stay there again. Listen, Hank. I've got a rug in my house that lies less than you. Dang! Sick bird! <laughs> Dang! You better watch out for Julie. She's going to tear you through the mud. For real. She said, mm, liar. <laughs> liar, liar, pants on fire. Hank, even if you're not offended, you should be. <laughs> Wait, I mean it. I'm sure your dolphin friend is waiting. He's a shark. Okay, you've convinced me. Really? No. Okay, I can prove that I'm not here to steal. Isn't there anything you need? I could go get it for you. I'm pretty great at that. Hmm, if it means you'll leave. I won't come back without it. All right. There's a kind of plant that doesn't grow in High Lake. It's called sage. Dude, I slap that on my on my pasta, like on my spaghetti. Like spaghetti and meatballs. I load the sage on for real. I use it to make my teas and peach juice. Oh. <laughs> oh. It doesn't grow in the light, so you won't find it outside the thicker woods. I suggest you look west of sawdust, but you shouldn't step foot beyond that barrier. If you had any sense. Well, certainly don't have to worry about that. All right, Pooks, I'll see you later. Dang, her house is so nice. Look at all her stuff. I like her little cabinet, that's so cute. Okay, okay, go to Dark Grove. She said that's west of sawdust, right? Okay, 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 okay. So... Ooh, strawberries. I see all the stuff on the map, the stuff up here. And I'm gonna collect all of it. Yeah, yeah. What was that? Ah! <laughs> My fingers were just so ready to move on! More strawberries. Um, nails, copper plate, iron plate. What is this? Tell me your secrets. It's just the huge, the usual. This is pretty. I bet having a farmhouse on a lake is really pretty. I'm not a big water person either. I'm just a ball of not fun. <laughs> I'm just a whole ball of not fun. You're not getting me near the ocean. A lake? Nah, I've been on a lake before for sure. I don't think I enjoyed it that much. Why watch the world through a screen when you can trade it in for the real thing? Now accepting trade-ins for high definition electronics at any pond location. Press the green button. So what's next? Humankind has fought many a trump. Adurious battles. No more impressive than the one against nature itself. A solid roof over our heads and a dry floor to sleep on have become the preferred way of life for many. And the reward for that victory? The opportunity to profit from taking all of it away. I'm learning so much. This area supports the development of outdoor facilities. An open air, untamed, raw experience at the mercy of dangerous creatures and savage beasts. I do get pretty grumpy in the morning. Closed off in a small area with a fence, a gate, and a gate, of course. <laughs> of course. As you know, patron health and safety are our main concern. So any outdoor expansions needed to be certified by... Huh? So any outdoor expansions need to be certified by a forestry specialist. Failing to do so will deprive you of more adventurous guests from the true experience of paying extra to sit outside. Hey, I think I know someone like that. Huh? Who would we know? Sabine? Yeah, Sabine. Okay. I figured. So should we go? Generally, we have a lot to do with our day. Like, we have a lot of extra time. Yeah, what is this? Herbs. Herbs. 
So generally we have a lot of extra time with the day, so I'm thinking maybe sleep and then we'll come back to this. Can you shut up? <gasps> Trash. What is that? Well, that was trash. Fuel container. Okay. And trash. And more trash. Ooh. Lots of stuff. Someone just threw away electronics. They're like, yeah, I don't need that anymore. Okay. I'm going to go to Timber Crossing and get two, two bus things. I don't know what they are, but they're two things to like build the bus stops so that I can, <laughs> so I can fast travel. Because he's running fat. I didn't mean to interrupt your bath time, King. Honestly, my bad. Okay. Let's buy two of the bus things. Dang. <gasps> but we have so much money. Yeah. I didn't think we had that much money. Okay. So we need one for A24. And then we need one for the other place. Do we just sleep here? I think we should just sleep here. Dang, can you guys not throw your trash on the ground? Like, it's literally, you're just doing it to be little stinky rats, huh? Wait. Hank has not been home in so long. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Working on it. Oh, right. Ugh. Ugh. I forgot about this. Ugh. Ten. This one has 26. How does that have 26? Oh, because it's decoration. It's not like... Oh, okay. Oh, they're all leaving. Dudes. Dang. Okay. We'll be back. We're going to have to try to get those beds to upgrade the comfort. Or I'm just going to have to renovate them all. I'm just going to have to let them leave and then renovate it already. To have bigger rooms. Which isn't that big of a deal. Like, we're supposed to just do it to get the money to, like, get our feet off the ground. And now that we have three locations, kinda. <laughs> hopefully me renovating one won't hurt too much. So let me do this. So now that fast travel is open. I know. You don't have to tell me. Watch, it's going to be something I didn't read before. And then I'm going to be like, what? Stop leaving your trash everywhere. It's you with the bow tie. I can smell it to you. I can smell your stink from here. You're filthy, man. You're filthy. Disgusting. Anyways. This one, this one, this one. Ooh. Okay. Do I even have one with 23? I surely don't. Next. Okay. Because I'm still trying to do the ones that have one day. But they all hate me. So. <laughs> The ones that have one day, smell. They smell bad. They smell like dookie, so. Ew. Okay. 14 has to be in this one. 11, this one. Uh, 10, that one. Okay, so this one's fine. I really need to. 10 or more guests. A24, Dark Grove. Sabine. Level three. Two more guests with the pampered. And I won't be able to do the pampered until I have higher level comfort. So we just we just need to We just need to renovate. Okay, so let's do this. Go to Timbo Quasing. Could I walk? Yeah, but I think that it does the cuts the cutscene anyway. I feel like when you walk to one area to another. Um, okay. So, they said it's across from Sawdust. Oh, you know what? I think we had the bus stop built. So <laughs> we do! <laughs> no! I could have just fast traveled here. God, I smell. Just so stinky. <laughs> I just smell so bad. Like, dukes. That's so unfortunate. Ugh, my hand still smells like coffee! I just, like, rubbed in my face. Like, my temple. <laughs> With my hand. <laughs> it still smells like coffee from me working. That's so funny. Okay. Where where am I? Where's Dark Grove? See, I thought all these look at these mushrooms. I thought I would be able to pick those, but I can't. Ooh. Somebody crashed their car. Scary. 
What is this? Is this the sage? No, that's herbs. Okay, great. Oh, what does sage look like? I know I said I use sage all the time. I don't use like the the free sage. I use the little ground one in my spice cabinet. None of this is what I'm looking for. <gasps> I want to pick the glowy mushrooms. Why can't I pick the glowy mushrooms? Tell me you hate me and don't want me to have glowy mushrooms. They're probably poisonous. Hank would probably die. It'd be worth it because they glow. Is it this one? Is it this one? Yay! Okay, so we got the sage. I think that's all we needed from here. Is there anything else important? I don't want to pick all those. I'm lazy. Will that bite me later? Yeah, probably. Ooh, there's a little castle. No! There's a little castle over here. That's not a castle. <gasps> <gasps> you! Whose name I've forgotten! Gus! You again? I think we got off on the wrong foot. And now I used a both. I never meant to, um, say nice things about you. Yeah, well, you can't just do that to people. You could ruin someone's day. But you said pleasant things about me, too. I think. That's different. It wasn't about me. What are you doing here, anyway? Are you following me around? No one comes to Dark Grove. I thought I'd start my day out with a little self-terror. Beats washing off your face and beats washing off your face with water. Finally, you make some sense. What are you up to? In case I've accidentally given you the impression that I'm a space scientist or something, I like to scavenge. It's what I do. I get into every nook and cranny and fish. Fish? Oh. <laughs> no. Not not and fish. I get into every nook and cranny and fish out the little artifacts of the the universe forgot about. Now, no one's stepped foot in Dark Grove in years. And this tower here is old. Like, really old. You can tell by the fact that there isn't a tower anymore. It was a tower? Oh. I thought it was just like a castle. But that didn't stop humans from using it anyway. At least until the day they up and left, tearing everything down behind them. So, like a nerd in a board game shop, I dive right in. Getting my little trinket fix. He's so valid for the trinkets. No one can tell me not to. I wouldn't dream of it, and neither would I. Is that how you got your jacket? Oh yes, my little green jacket. I found it in the white house up in the mountain. I roll around in the garbage dump once a week to keep it fresh. Ugh. Well, I really like it. It's a nice jacket. Ugh. This old thing, it's actually gotten pretty musty and I can't get the mud smell out of it. I should probably change it soon. You don't say. Hey! Pickens be slim in the old grub department. You wouldn't happen to know to have anything to gnaw on, would you? I could go make you something. We can cook. Boy, I'd kill for an egg dippy. <laughs> egg dippy. In fact, I'm pretty sure I have... Have what? Egg dippy? Okay. I'll go find you some egg dippy, whatever that means. Is egg dippy real? Guys, is egg dippy real? Is that fake? <laughs> Piggy Dippins. Do you have anything for me? Oh, just a bag of seeds. I'll take it. I'm greedy and I like taking stuff. If it doesn't belong to me, that's my treasure. <laughs> I'm just Gus in a different suit. Except eating <laughs> egg dippy. <laughs> I'm a suit. Hey, do you like dip eggs in it or something? Or is it something you dip into an egg? Egg dippy. What if I looked it up? Sorry. I'm picking up my phone. To look up egg dippy. Where am I? Okay, so we did all the stuff for... Timbus Crossing and A24. So we're free to go back to the other one. Egg... Dippy. Oh. Okay, hold on. I'll read it in a second. Hold on. And then we'll all know what egg dippy is. Okay, 
So egg dippy is a soft boiled egg served with toast and cut into long narrow strips called soldiers. Huh. And who made egg dippy? Internet. Who invented the egg dippy? Sorry, I'm loading. <laughs> Where's the bus stop for this place? Oh, it's up here. Or it's not. Oh, there it is. Okay, great. Yeah. Now we can fast travel. Yeah. We're kind of crazy like that. Talk to Sabine about building a camp. Yeah, let's talk to Sabine too. Let's get all of our egg dippy in one basket. <laughs> it was a bad joke. I hope you're shun shunning me. Oh, that's Julia. Like, I hope you shun me for that joke because that was terrible. And I truly wish that I didn't make it. But here I am. What is this? Oh. Oh. I wonder how many of those things that I haven't built. What? <gasps> Sabine! Hey, girl. Hey, big guy. What you up to? Oh, you know, looking for berries, refurbishing old houses. Just bare things. Well, I ain't got much you could work on here. Except maybe the old broad broadcast station up north. But no one's got any use for that anymore. Actually, I had a thing I need your help with. Ah, shoot. I ain't good at skimming plaster, but I'll tell you which mushrooms will make you feel funny. Well, we're trying to give more folks we're trying to give folks a more uh, outdoorsy experience. And apparently rolling in grass until the ground smells like you isn't part of that. So I'm a little lost. Well, most people don't mind a little dirt on their butt or smoke in their face, but in limited controlled quantities. Tell you what, if you clear out a bit of space for the camping spot, I can get you some basic things to get started. How about it? <laughs> yeah. I'll do anything for you, Sabine. Sabine's just so beady girl. Yeah, who made... Who made it? Who made Egg Dippy? Whatever. I'll look it up later. I don't have the hands for that right now. <laughs> We're busy. We're busy killing it. Repair the old... This? Tony's Construction Service. Welcome to Highland Lake Camp. Would you like to repair it? Yeah. Step one. Looks like the work site is good to go. Oh, is it? Gather construction materials needed to build it. Plywood, stone bricks, copper plates. We have all those. Yep. Okay. Dang, I did not clean that up, so... Excuse me, I sneezed. It's a little chilly in here. I always sneeze when it's cold. It's terrible. Okay. So we re we built that. Let's go see Julia and then we'll go talk to Sabine. We're making a little circle. Little circle. With our little bear friend. Hey girl, you're gonna have to get out of the hay pile. Oh uh, hello again. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting you back. Did you find any sage? Yeah, I got it right here. What? You really got some? Oh my. It really is. So musty and crisp. Did you really go all the way there? To Dark Grove? Piece of cake. See? Bears don't have to worry about underwear. Listen, if you're serious about this place, getting this place back on its feet, I think I can help. The captain's family ate all sorts of food. They'd grow it in the garden and cook it down into flavors you'd never even dreamt of. Sweet, sour, buttery, earthy, smoky, tangy. I didn't know I could taste words before. <laughs> and well, I know for a fact your humans are going to want some. So I can teach you how to do that. If you'd like to stick around. I don't want to cook for the humans. I would love to. You're a liar. <laughs> Great. I mean, I'm happy to hear that. You can help yourself from the garden. Things grow pretty fast in there, so help yourself. Thanks, Pookie. <gasps> We've granted access and I didn't even see the garden. I think I've walked around it four times. Now the captain had a big table the whole family would sit at. Oh, scary. That scared me. 
Okay, we got a bunch of new recipes. You should probably give folks some room to eat. No, I won't. Just kidding, I will. Dining rooms are where your guests can consume meals. Craft and place a serving table and a chair to make it functional and give food service. Meals added in the serving table will give out their food score to guests. Guests will consume these meals usually three times a day. Each dining room will affect the entire building, so resorts with multiple buildings will require multiple dining rooms. Oh, okay. Raw ingredients will not award food score. Only cooked meals will. Lower level serving tables have fewer slots, while higher level serving tables have more. Oh, okay. Cool. Fresh. Fun and fresh. Oh, look at how she sleeps. She sleeps so cute. You know, I know she's a goat and all, but hey, cannot be comfortable. I bet it is so uncomfortable. I've never seen it or been around it. I bet you I'm lying. You know what? I rode a pony when I was a kid, so I must have been lying. Because ponies eat hay, right? What if they don't? What if they don't eat hay? What eats hay? Hay's for horses. A. Hey. Okay. What is this? Shamamale. Sabine, no! Sabine! <laughs> so how about it? You got a campground ready to go? Yes, ma'am. I can't pin down what I had going on for Sabine. Good going. I'm almost done. I'm just missing a bit of fuel and I left my canister behind. Can you fetch me some while I finish up? I think I, yeah, I have some. Did you find any fuel? Got it right here. All right, good. Now the key to a great camping spot is to make it feel is to make it feel the greatest waiting room in the world. Oh. Is that true? Is that people who camp? Is that how you feel? Like it's the greatest waiting room in the world? It should be relaxing and quiet, but just temporary enough. So you don't overstay your welcome. I mean, you don't have to worry about that. Yeah, we've unlocked a s'more recipe. Sitting log, small campfire. But your guests should. Campfire is a special room that can only be built in certain areas outside. It's perfect for the more adventurous guests who prefer a moonlit wiener over an open flame. It requires a fire, a seating object, and a dispenser to be functional, and it can only be built in specifically designated outdoor areas. Some guests specifically look for campfires during their stay. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. M. M. So, build a dining room and build a campsite. This is literally just us going in circles right now. Because I have to get the level 3 bed. I don't. I bet I don't need to. But I'm also trying to clear out Timber Crossing. That's the plan. We're clearing out Timber Crossing, upgrading it so it has less rooms. Still, like, four rooms maybe, but just less of them. So that it's easier to upgrade as the... Why did I walk in here? <laughs> so it's easier to upgrade as the game goes on. What? Oh, I bet it's just point. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just pointing to the spot. Uh... Oh, right. Okay. 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 I got it. I got it. I got it, guys. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's the same as literally every other time that I've done it. Okay. So, we have to craft. So, we can do like a two for one because we have to do the campfire. We are in the wrong spot. Here. It has to be four by four. there. Right in the middle. And I didn't make any of the stuff to go in it, so cry. <laughs> I didn't make a single thing that's supposed to go in it. I just made it. Um, let's just make all of this, because we have to. Tiny buffet. This. I don't know how many chairs it has, so we'll just make two, just in case. I don't know how many chairs it's supposed to have. This one. Uh, yeah, we'll do two again. Okay. And now... S'mores cart. Oh, what do you mean? Okay, s'mores cart. Fire. I don't like the way you sit. So there's four. Ah! So there's four seats. Do you think two is fine? Let's just make two more. What's the worst that can happen? Okay. And then. Seat. Oh, uh, well. Guess I'll just lay on the floor and be sad. 
What about now? What about now? Honk punk? <sighs> Guess the door's in the way. Okay, try this again. Wow, perfect first try. <laughs> okay, so we made that. Let's go make the kitchen. So they said the kitchen doesn't matter because it affects the whole building, right? Am I making a kitchen or a dining room? Or both? Dining room. Okay. How big does this have to be? Three by three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three. Okay. And dining room. Now I put the this in there. And this is also a four-seater. Didn't know that. Well, now it's a two-seater because apparently I don't have space. <laughs> so it's just gonna... No! I don't have... Oh, it's because I didn't have this in it. Oh, got me stressed. I thought I was poor. I was like, we don't have money. Guys, we have to quit again. <laughs> we have to just keep making money again. We are fine. We are fine. We definitely have enough money for that. Okay, great. What is egg dippy? I know I already said, I already, we already looked up, we know. I know what it is. But like, how do we make said egg dippy? Can we ask Julia to make it? Do you think if we were like, hey girl, can you make some egg dippy? She'll make it. So, how about that dining room? It's ready. I can't believe it. You're just going, I can't believe you're going through all this trouble. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been by myself for a long time. There's barely a soul that passes through here these days. Except the ones who make a fuss at night, I guess. But I don't have the guts to confront them. That sounds terrifying. Anyway, you've got everything you need to start making some delicious food. Oh, except, like, one important bit. Somewhere to cook it all. Now, I did my best with what I had in the guest house, but I'm pretty proud of my little kitchen. Um, new stuff, at Ipswich, more at Pond Voyage, more little crafties, and I expect you to make your own. Okay. Kitchen's rooms where you can cook your meals, they require either a cutting board, cooker, griddle, or microwave. Not all objects are required. Kitchen objects are noisy and smell funny, which means they carry a negative decoration to gore. Guests will not interact with kitchens, however, kitchens will apply negative decorations in areas that affect random things. Oh, gross. This debuff will affect any bedrooms built next to kitchens, as well as the overall prestige in the resort. Place plenty of decorations. Oh, okay. So you can put stuff in the kitchen. Okay. 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 I got it. Got it. So, you don't, can you not do what you're doing? Me, not Hank. Hank would never mess up because Hank is perf. Me, the little fool that I am. Um, okay. So she wants me to make a kitchen. I should have figured she wanted me to make a kitchen. Don't, sh you don't see this. I just already want to make it big because I'm scared. <laughs> I'm already afraid that it's gonna just not turn out well, so I'm just gonna make it big already. Making a dining room? Okay. Three by three. Let's make it this big. Let's turn it this way. This way. Nice! Okay, I didn't make any of the stuff to go in it though, so cry. Wait, yes I did, right? No. Yes? No. No, I did not. I need you to be in between really far out and really close. Because she just gave us all that stuff, right? Yeah. Cutting board. Cast iron. Yeah. Okay. Give. What do you even mean? Oh, what? What? Why not? I'm confused. What? Why not? Oh, is it a dining room again? <laughs> Dang it, delete it. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Did I even look at the kitchen and then build it anyway? No. Dining room, kitchen. 
Yeah, I was supposed to build a kitchen. What happened? Oh. Ew. That's gross. If you hear scratching, it's my cat. She's scratching her little board right now. She's eating it up. She's scratching. She's scratching. She's eating. Okay. So, that's done. So I'm probably going to make... I'm probably going to make these smooch then. Since they're right next to each other. Tell me you hate me then, nerd. Then edit, make it a little bigger, a little bigger, and done. Wow! It's not if I want to. Okay, never mind, I'll just die. Whatever. Okay, but I did that. I made a functional kitchen, made the dining room bigger, put all this stuff in it. I made my first bedroom in there in case. Can you not smell? I'm so sorry to keep waking up in the middle of the night. Did you manage to get a kitchen up and running? Yup. Well, what are you waiting for? Time to give it its maiden's voyage. I haven't exactly won any cooking competitions out there. Oh, nonsense. You're a natural. I can smell it on you. The smell is definitely all natural. Look, here's some basics to get you started. I'm sure not everyone's going to be picky from the get-go. Grab some taters from the garden and some mint next to the lake. And give your new kitchen a spin. Thanks, gorgeous. Welcome to cooking. Your goal is to follow the recipes by matching ingredient items with cooking method cards. Interact with any placed cooking objects to bring up the cooking screen. Any object, to, wait, any object in the kitchen will bring up the same interface. Oh, cool. Um, you have to learn one recipe before you be able to access cooking. Each cooking object you place in the kitchen will give access to cooking cards interface. Dang. Higher level of cooking objects will yield new cards. Okay. Different recipes require different cooking method cards, which can hold ingredients. Step by step. Recipe book. Pick a recipe and then pick the appropriate set from the deck. Put down the card in a cooking slot. Place the ingredient from the inventory into the cooking slot. Add some fuel. Place the fuel uh, into the fuel slot. Press the cook button. Wait for the food to be ready. And then the more objects you place, the more cards you need to access. Okay. Let's go! So we're gonna cook mashed titers and mint tea. Okay, what does mint look like? I know I have herbs, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure she doesn't want herbs. She wants mint tea. What does that look like? Must be that little leaf patch down here. That is not what I would expect mint to look like. Not be saying it's not what it looks like. I'm just saying I don't know what mint looks like and I wouldn't expect it to look like that. So, because I'm a very uninformed individual and that's okay. If that's what mint looks like, cool. Let's go into our little kim kimchen. Dang, I made this. I made this long. Okay. How do I make raw? What? <gasps> oh, okay. Boil. And I was reading it, and now it's all coming together. So potato and fuel. Cook. Back, mint tea, boil, why not? <sighs> I have to wait for it to finish. Gavros. Wait, can I put multiple? Fuel. I doubt it, right? What? Wait, can I? Can I separate this? Into like different, how do I separate it? Must be a way. Ooh. Except. 18. Oh, there's only one fuel one, though. Well. I want to use all my potatoes. Something else I could. Oh, man. Oh, that's not herbs. <laughs> that's the herbs. It's something completely different. Would this work? Cook? No, it doesn't work. Just kidding. I didn't say anything. 
I guess it's like it would be like me putting mint and chamomile together in a pot. <laughs> and the game's like, mm, try again, idiot. <laughs> Wrong. Hi, beans. Do you want to say hi? Say hello. Say hi. Baby coral is here. Don't you dare step on my stuff, I'll cry. Did I not, in fact, cook those things? Heh. <laughs> what? I cooked them. What do you mean? Oh, I didn't take them. Mashed potatoes. Hey! Stop! My cat's trying to walk all across my PC because she stinks. You're so smelly. You smell like dookie. Okay. You know what? I probably... I was going to put it in there, but I based on that, it probably has to be on my person. And then I can put it on there. Hank's getting a sleepless night tonight. He's had some pretty good rest for the past several days. Poor Julia's had the worst night of sleep. Did you get some cooking done? I sure did. Well, you certainly did something, but it's better than my first try. I just boiled potatoes and mint. What do you mean? Okay, so now we have recipes. All right, now you better go serve it before it gets cold. Okay, well, ma'am, hold on. I have to move my cat. I got her on video. Not really. She was being a little stink. She's like, come to bed. You've been sitting there forever. <laughs> Please. I'm busy. I'm getting my little recording done. Eee. Stop. Okay. No, not what I wanted. How do I put stuff in here? Okay, tiny buffet, you get potatoes and mint tea. And the good thing is we don't have anyone right now, so that should be it. Which, let me... Yeah. Yeah. This month, only get a 2% coupon for our sister's company, Flight or Fright, for all your package delivery and shipment needs. The only question we ask is cash or card. Press the green button. The camp is ready. Dear valued partner, here at Pond Voyage, we take steps every day to recognize and appreciate our most valuable associates for their commitment and contributions. You currently do not meet the criteria for recognition or appreciation. Just tell me I smell. Just tell me you hate me. In fact, our metrics suggest your performance falls under our des- Detestation level. Rating's hard. However, your recent development into outdoor leisure for this, however, your development into outdoors leisure for this property has upgraded you to disregard. Just tell me you hate me. Congratulations. You are now one step closer towards achieving something in your life that has any semblance of value. Thanks. There are many, many steps left. The next one, in fact, is meeting our criteria for a property in this location, which you should observe in order to be further entrusted with our guests' experience. Ooh, we got some new items in Took's garbage. I've been waiting. Ooh, we have new things in the Pond Voyage that we deeply care about. I don't even remember what he was saying. I was just so distracted by getting new trinkets. <gasps> we have a new bed. <gasps> is this a level 3 bed? <gasps> I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> Guys, we have new stuff. I'm gonna eat it all. Wait, how much money do we have? Let's not be crazy. Let's not spend that much. Uh, what do we just get? Oh, God. Hold on. Can you go away? Oh, God. <sighs> we'll come back. We'll come back to this. We'll come back to this. We'll come back. Around, 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 around. Yeah! Timber, timber crossing, go! <laughs> I was like, we have to go! Ah, 
<laughs> Although there's not going to be a lot that we can do here now that I'm thinking about it. Because again, we still have that problem with the... Oh no, you know what? Oh, hold on, wait. 38? Okay, maybe, maybe we're still kind of screwed. Let's try it anyways. Ew. Okay. Level... Level 3, please. Can I have a level 3 bed, please? Uh, 1, 2, 3. Let's not make it super high. Oh. Jeez. Oh, I messed up. Oh, I broke the whole game. <laughs> oh, God. Ah, I broke it! No! Oh, okay. Oh, got me nervous. Dang. Thought I broke it. I was having a panic. Okay. Let's try this again. Take the bed. In here. Take this. Dang, this is huge. This is a big bed. Oh, yeah. We're totally going to have to reorganize everything. Okay. <gasps> it was only one level three. What, what level is it? 15. Just tell me I'm a loser. <laughs> okay. Um, let me, let's still wait and we'll do one, two. Should I just do a really long room? No, right? I should do one room, a second room. So there's one, two, three, four. And then the lobby. Or I can make the lobby smaller and then do fifth one. It's maybe five and a lot. Hey, do you pay rent? Well then come here. <laughs> She's pissed. What time is it? Ma'am. She just wants treats. She's so selfish. Anyways. She's like, where are my treats? Idiot. Okay, yeah, so we'll wait on this again. Um, num, 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 Okay, so we'll just leave this one and then we'll go to A24. We'll go to A24, get all the stuff again, like re. What's the word? Book a bunch of people again. And then we'll go back. <laughs> we will go back to in the other room because we really can't do anything for timber crossing until i get the pampered level higher high enough high enough okay so let's do this so that somewhere's making money <laughs> um low stats low stats oh god what have i done yeah i think i messed that up whatever Oh, no, not that one. Uh. Okay. Ew. Okay, so they're all going. Because it's... Oh, so six... Okay. Ten or more for A24. Six for High Lake. We need to go back and talk to her. Okay. 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 We got it. We've got it. We've got this. Why can I not tra fast travel? Who? You're a dirty liar. That's what you are. I was like, I knew, I knew I built one for the purpose of going fast between A24 and Sawdust. I knew that was the sole reason I did it. Okay. Do you think this place needs a bathroom too? We should just build one just in case. So. Hmm. Let's make another bedroom. Same thing. Right? Uh, now I'm unsure. Maybe we'll put it here. Right? Okay, because I want to put a bathroom in a place that'll reach everything. Like one singular bathroom, but like in the middle. Yeah! Dudes! Am I a genius or what? Say what? Say what? I dare you! <laughs> it's just what <laughs> okay yeah okay oh wait we have the fun beds <gasps> we have the cool fun beds 
No, wait. Take that out. Take it out. Take it out. Yeah. No. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, I probably should have made the rooms like this big. Yeah. Totally. Totally should have made them that big. Okay. Because how much is this? 18. Okay. How do I make it higher? Is the question. What wardrobe did I put in there? Oh, I didn't put the new one in. So let's try putting the new one in and see how that goes, right? Because now there's a th level 3 wardrobe. And then put this. Yeah, okay. Okay. And then it doesn't work. <laughs> I made it and it doesn't even work. And then I cry. And then I lay on the floor and just start sobbing. Now what? Oh, dude, we're already at prestige level 2? Dang, I didn't realize these big things were so important. Oh, dude, see, look, 23. Oh, yeah, we could totally make that place pop in. We could totally make that place pop in. I just need to get everyone out of it first. Dude, we're going to eat this up. We're going to eat this up. Don't even worry about it. I smell you worrying. Stop it. Stop worrying. We're going to eat this for breakfast. Oh, I made that again. Did I? No, I had that in the first place. Guys... I did make it twice. Dang, I wanted this. I wanted this. My bad. My bad. Okay. This one. Ew. Get in. Ew. Look at that. What? What? That's crazy. Okay. And then let's build another room. Another room. Room. How big are these? One, two, three. Oh, it's a three by four? One, two. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Why is that kind of ugly? <laughs> Why is that kind of ugly, though? Should I make it turned? Maybe I should turn it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold. Keep holding. Um, turn it. Put it here. Why? Because it's going to be weird if I move it. And then get rid of these. Yeah... Yeah. Hmm. Now it just looks ugly. How do I make this less ugly? I think I kind of... I think I kind of put myself into a box. Where it's just going to be ugly. Would this have to be smaller? Can I even make it smaller? So many questions and so little answers. Hmm. Oh, no. One, two. Hum. Hum, 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 hum. Okay. And I think that's all I'm going to craft for now anyways. Because on top of... So, which was that? It's the front. I think that's the front. And then it's not the front. I have to die. Ew. Okay, great. So, comfort, bedroom. Let's put another one here. Put it right there. Nice. Nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. This one. Bonnebelle, please. This one here. It, no, this one. This one here. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. What are we gorgeous? Okay, so that's four rooms. Nice. And I think I have to stay six guests. Okay. Oh, I didn't make a front desk. Hold on. <laughs> I realized the error in my waist. So I guess this will just be the lobby. So. Um, crap. All the way down. All the way down. This one, craft. Um, where's the disc? That way. Perf. Okay. Now let's go get our people in it. Yeah, look. What? The rooms should have bathrooms. What? Oh, because the bathroom's empty. <laughs> 
You're so silly. So maybe I'll just get one of these. Oh, we have a lot of money. Let's just get them all. What did I just buy? You can't buy multiple. No, you can't. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna buy a fridge and this. And we'll worry about the table stuff later because I'm not gonna have that many people right now. But we ran into a fridge in A24. And the reason... Hold on. So the reason I would like to get that one. One, two, three. Is because if I'm right... No, we don't have copper plates! What? <laughs> Anyways, continuing my point. If I'm right, then it should be... Um, what? Anyways, if I'm right, then technically the fridge should be able to store like the raw ingredients that I find because I just don't want my yeah okay so it's 15 7 dang you want high class food girl I got that not you yeah yeah 23 16 18 23 16 18 it's content if we go this one this one. Mm. Doesn't matter. This one also doesn't matter. Yeah, haha. -ha. Okay. Great. So this place is ready ish. Ugh, sorry. Sneeze again. <laughs> I can't help it. My nose is just crazy right now. Oh, right. We need to go see Julia. I'm gonna just go see Julia, tell her that we put the stuff. <gasps> She's gone. Where did she go? Dang, she walked far. Hey, girl. Did you serve the food? I did. No one's here yet, though. Well, congrats, Hank. You just cooked your first batch of some food for someone else. And that's nothing to sneeze at. Now, you better make sure there's always food in there for folks to eat. I will forget. You can make the same stuff, sure, but you'll run out of ingredients quick. So, you better learn how to cook more stuff than just mash and tea. I've got plenty of recipes from the captain's cookbook. Come by my little booth sometime. I could always use the coin. What? Are you stealing? No, I'm paying her for her stuff. You think the captain's dead? <laughs> Okay, these aren't too expensive. Strawberries, corn. <gasps> Is that egg dippy? Is this, this looks like egg dippy. <gasps> That's egg dippy. Hold on, okay. What do you need for egg dippy? We have so many things to figure out. I really hope I don't buy the same recipe twice. I should have done this in order and I didn't. Like a little criminal. Okay, I think I bought them all. If I didn't, um, RIP. It's never gonna get bought because <laughs> I can't. I can't be bothered to, rem to remember or go look. I'll probably look later, but... Eh, eh. Let me see. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. What's... No. No. Egg dippy. Egg dippy. Egg dippy. Egg dippy. Dippy, 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 dippy. Eggs, bread, and wood. Oh, well, that is what is in it. So I guess I have to go buy some from the Birdman. Ipswich? I don't know how to say it, so if that's not right, I apologize. Okay. Do-do-do-do-do-do. 
just gonna walk all the way to A24. And then I realized I had fast travel. So I'm not gonna do that. Because it'd be kind of annoying of me. For myself. Probably for some other people. Mostly for me, though. Okay. What can I buy? <gasps> so we can buy... It's what? Bread? What did I say? Bread and eggs? Egg dippy. Egg dippy. Egg dippy. He just needs one egg dippy. So once we have the egg dippy, we're fly. We are fly as a butterfly. So... <laughs> okay. Let's go. Gus needs his egg dippy. I like how the <laughs> the people get. How do I? Oil, roast, fuel, fuel. Red is roasted. Eggs are boiled. Dippy. Give me my dippy. Yeah, look at all this tea that they're gonna get. Look at that. Oh, I wonder if I can make some other stuff while I'm here. I don't have the fridge. No point. I don't want to carry more stuff when I already don't have the fridge. Because that'll be nice. Like, gathering ingredients and then making food and just putting them in the fridge so that when I need them, I can just replace them. Because, as she said, they're gonna run out. I'm already strategizing, guys. I'm already strategizing. Back here. No, where is he? He's in Dark Grove, right? Okay. And I don't think there's a... I don't think there's a... Thingy in Dark Grove. Whatever is called. Whatever. What are we whatever? Ew. Okay. Um... Get it, Tony. Kill it. Kill it. Ah. Ah. Oh, thank goodness. I thought I was too high. That map in the corner is everything to me. All the things that I can't see are on it, and it's beautiful. But it also makes it so I run into a lot of stuff. Where's the little man? Ah! 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 Hey, girl. A little... A little... A little bloody stick dipped inside a creamy egg would really hit the spot about now. Did I walk all this way without my dang egg dippy in my pocket? No! <laughs> Now I have to walk all the way back! I made the egg dippy and then I just left it in the oven like a fool! How is Gus supposed to eat his egg dippy when I didn't put it in? I'm gonna throw myself to the wolves. That's what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna actually throw myself to the wolves. So. Where's the bus stop? That's a tree, right? The tree's even on the map. I don't even have an excuse for that one. Let me out, sir. <laughs> Please, sir. I want some more. <laughs> I left my dippy in the oven. This is going to be a stupid trade of me. Leaving my dippy in the frickin' oven. Stupid dippy. I'm pissed. <laughs> there it is. Still in the oven. Okay. <laughs> He's like, why are you here without my dippy? I'm like, I have it, right? <gasps> in the oven. <sighs> I'll go get it. Don't mind me. Concierge. All the way to sawdust. I have a personal, like, bus. That's kind of crazy. Okay. Egg dippy. Mm -hmm. Dippy! Who wants your eggs with Dippy? I do. I do. I love Gravity Falls. Kind of eats. I'm excited to see that Bill Cipher book. Or whatever it's supposed to be. I'm surprised they made more stuff for it. Can you let me through? Gus needs his Dippy. Yeah, that's what I thought. 
He's just hanging out in the dark side of the woods. Getting dippy. Getting egg. Getting dippy. Okay. Give him his egg and dippings. And then we're good. We're good. Hey, girl. You got something for me back there? Yep. Fresh out of the oven. A fresh bus ride back, forth, and back again. Ah, salty, savory, creamy, delicious. Tastes like I'm about to do something useful. You make a mean egg dippy, big boy. Thanks. I didn't lay on it. Only cooked it. We used to get egg dippy made once a year with that. My poor ma. I don't blame her. She did the best she could. We were 12 brothers and she had to carry us all on her back. Literally. And we were all little dumbasses, too, driving her up the wall. Oh man, I don't think my mom could have handled more than one Hank. Ah, I remember one time my two older brothers and I got up in the middle of the night to steal the pudding. And we accidentally dropped the whole bowl from the third floor. I swear her mouth was spouting fire. I thought I was for sure dying that night. I wasn't allowed out the hole for three days straight. Ah, uh, yeah, that wasn't even the longest I got put out in the hole. Did she ever put you someplace nice when you did something good? Like a, a shelf up high somewhere? What? No, that's dumb. Besides, I don't remember doing something good, like ever. It was like we were 12 devils put on this earth to torment her. And boy, were we good at it. I don't know. I remember doing a lot of dumb things, but I don't think we ever had a hole. Yeah, well, how did you get punished? For seed dish soap, the old stick over the farm. I hated that one. She usually just, usually just sat down with me and told me what I did wrong. I usually feel bad about it enough to apologize and never do it again. Oh, I see. That's dumb. <laughs> hey, you know what? When you're done scavenging, I think I could use some help with the humans. Oh, yeah, see, I'm not a big people bear, and I was thinking I need some... Someone with heart. Some zing. Hmm. And, and, don't get me wrong, you have a lot of stinky energy. Damn right. But maybe that's exactly what I need from someone running my concierge stand. Do you? Do you mean that? Of course. I could use someone scaring some mustaches off a few folks for a fair price. Well, that's one of the least dumb things you've said today, Hank. Listen, if I come and help you, I'll need a little, my own little table with my own little chair. <gasps> Look at him. <laughs> Always the undeniable people possum, Gus had offered his services, services as a concierge. All he asked was a little stand through which he could take care of business, of course. A perfect position for such a charming individual. Yeah, we got Gus on the payroll! Deal! Okay, that's great. So great. I'm excited. This is awesome. You're awesome. We got the concierge in. Thanks, Hank. Oh, that's cute. Gus has offered to come work for you. His specialty is um meeting and greeting people. You've learned the blueprint for Gus's stand. Now craft it at any workbench. Place Gus's stand anywhere in a resort to unlock his services for that area. You can turn on Gus's services through the cabin management screen. Gus will automatically accept new guests to any bedroom you indicate, saving you the need to do it manually. Oh, this will be great when we upgrade Timber Crossing so that he can just go feral with it <laughs> and we don't have to go back there anymore. However, Gus won't be as good as you at matching bedrooms to guests needs yeah yeah so choose which rooms you like to oh you can choose oh that's cool oh choose carefully okay so he's just probably gonna do it I, I they're probably saying like do higher level ones okay so i'll just it'll be fine every bedroom guest manages will cost a fixed number of coins per day if you run out of coins service will stop automatically and you'll need to turn it back on yourself Likewise, if you edit the staff item or rooms it affects, the service will stop and will need to be turned on manually. Okay. Great. Absolutely great. 
So let me get back to Timby Crossing. Real quick. We've made, I feel like we've made a lot, a lot of progress today. So much progress. So much progress. And also, I don't really know how much progress we've made. <laughs> because the, I've done this one and then the last video back to back. Obviously, <laughs> you can kind of tell because I didn't have it. I didn't have it on the open screen, which I tend to do when I'm restarting. When I'm like starting up the series again. After me not doing it for a while. But... I'm trying to get back before daytime. Okay. Yeah. Me continues to gather treats. So. But yeah, I feel like. I know it's probably just because I had those two videos like stacked on top of each other, but I really feel like it's been productive. You know, we're on to the third area out of who knows how many. We're making decent money. We had 2,000 coins before I spent a lot of it. Okay. Little stop. So, we had 2,000 coins before I spent a lot of it. And we got... We've got High Lake up and running for tomorrow with more guests. A24 is working on its goal, which I'm hoping might be complete tomorrow. Might take another day. High Lake will take two, maybe three days. So it gives us lots of time to work on updating Timber Crossing. And hopefully, once we get that one updated all the way, we can just put Gus on it, and then Gus will just do everything for us, and we don't have to deal with it anymore. So, that's our goal. Next time, our goal is to update Timber Crossing, get Gus going on that, and then keep up with our objectives so we can keep going and making more progress. <laughs> progress! <laughs> I love making checklists and completing all my little objectives. Tastes delicious. Alrighty. Um, but I hope you've had fun. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye.